again. We are back here on the Space Coast of Florida at a different location. A beautiful, if I may add, location. Sorry about the wind noise, as you can see, we have been not just on any beach. This is a very important beach. A beach that I knew that even if I didn't bring out the big camera with the wind muff, like I'm regretting now, I should at least bring it. as much do that of course this part is up for debate but some historians do believe that the first area that he landed in america was right here that's right ladies and gentlemen if you believe it if if you believe it we are standing here possibly in the exact footsteps we're walking on history which is kind of awesome on a side note more personally I grew up on the Gulf Coast I grew up near Tampa um, I'm not used to this and by this I mean water this blue and with this many waves I said it in the Ron John Surf Shop video, and I'm gonna say it in this one. I really wanna learn how to surf. I think it would be kinda awesome. We should probably stay on the task at hand. Of course, right now I'm sure, at least to you, that I just look like some crazy guy on the beach spouting out about Florida history, not really knowing what I'm talking about. And to be fair, I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time, but This might be a little bit of an indicator. Just as I said before, there may be a disagreement among scholars as to whether or not this is the actual landing spot of Juan Ponce de Leon. But enough agree that they were able to make this park dedicated to him in 2005. This here statue of Ponce de Leon was built here in this park to commemorate the birthplace of America or at least the first European that found it over here you'll find men women and family restrooms but that's not what I'm focusing on obviously I'm not gonna film the restrooms I'm gonna film the mural on the side of the restrooms that is dedicated to Juan Ponce de Leon's landing there he is there's the dude oh my god Jack you're talking about history you shouldn't say things as juvenile as there's the dude but you know am who i am i'm not changing that and right over here just before you get to the public beach access obviously here's a little bit more information about ponce de leon and his life obviously he was an explorer florida's first governor he lived 1474 to 1521 Over on this one, they give you the information to track uh, his actual voyage. Uh, it looks like he departed from uh, Punta Iguana, uh, Puerto Rico. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, on March 3rd and on April either 2nd or 3rd, I guess they're not sure. Uh, he actually did land anchor uh, 28 degrees latitude south of Cape Canaveral, this exact spot. Oftentimes, I'll look at the area that I'm in, I'll search in Google, I'll say, what are some of the most popular touristy items, you know, because I am the weekend tourist. And then 
if I decide that it's worthy enough for me to vlog, then I'll go out and I'll venture it. I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna film today, but I'm sure I'm glad that I came out because the footsteps, or at least the, even the possible footsteps, of where Juan Ponce de Leon discovered America by accident just seemed too cool and too important not to document. Absolutely crazy just to think that all that history, all that incredible history, is now just public beach, beach access. Amazing, incredible, relaxing public beach access. Actually, if you don't mind, I think I'm gonna hop in the water now. So, subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Ring that little bell icon for notifications on every single gosh darn episode. And see you guys next time. like to live in Florida. You better wash them sandy shoes off before you get my car, boy.